DEA Games Agency. We are an independent game development studio. We will develop and self-publish multiple games for Steam, Xbox One, PS4 and Xbox 360. We're dedicated to staying independent and to develop our own IP. We love making games as much as we love playing them. First DEA Games Agency Tutorial. This is part one of Random Graphic Design Beginners Tutorials, what will coming in the future. In this tutorial we will show you what can be done in 30 minutes in 3D Studio Max and in Substance Painter with just only couple of simple boxes. On standard primitives click on box button and simple click and drag on viewport. On parameters tab set length to 45 cm, width 45 cm and height 3 cm, and reset position x, y, z to 0. So far all good. Now let's make second box. Same like first one click and drag on viewport to create the box. On parameters tab set length 5 cm width 5 cm and height 50 cm. On menu bar click on align button, now click to align according to first box. A light position on X and Y, current object minimum and target object minimum and click OK button. Now right click on viewport and in the window click clone, select clone and click OK, to clone the box. Now again in the menu bar click align button, align according to first box, align position only on Y axis, current object maximum and target object maximum and click OK. Now click and select box 2 and box 3, right click and select clone to clone both in same time. Click again on menu bar align button and align according to box 1, only on X axis position, and click OK. Now let's align first box, on Z axis position. Let's create more boxes, length 35 cm width, 3 cm and height 6 cm. Click on menu bar align button to align the new box.
After Align right click and clone the box. Align the box what just was created. Now select last two boxes and right click clone, click clone and click OK. Now in the menu bar click on angle snap toggle button. Now in the menu bar click on select and rotate button, in the top viewport window rotate both boxes in same time with 90 degrees. Good, now select last four boxes, right click in the menu click clone again clone and OK. In the menu bar click on select and move button, now let's move last four boxes what just cloned before, according to the preferences of each individual. Let's scale a little first box, in the modify window set length 47cm width 47cm and height 3cm. Now on keyboard press, Ctrl key, plus, A, key, to select all boxes. Awesome, right click and, down on the window, click, convert to, click convert to editable poly. Select first box and on the modifier list scroll down and select unwrap pro. Click on Open UV Editor. Scale a little the editor window to see better. Down in the corner click on Polygon icon. Again Ctrl key plus A key to select all, on menu bar click Mapping button, Normal Mapping, and select Box Mapping click OK. Let's make the same for all boxes. On modifier list scroll down select Unwrap Pro. Click on Open UV Editor. Scale a little the editor window to see better. Down in the corner click on Polygon icon. Again Ctrl key plus A key to select all, on menu bar click Mapping button, Normal Mapping, and select Box Mapping click OK. For all next boxes we have to stitch UV faces, just click on two faces and click stitch button. We will make this for all boxes. Now after stitching click on unwrap button, right click on the window menu click rotate, and rotate UV face, it is not absolutely necessary to be perfect align. On keyboard press Ctrl key. Plus. A, key to select all faces, drop down click on pack custom button. Done. Awesome. Now make the same for all next boxes. Let's give you some information about Unwrap Pro. It is fast low distortion, overlap free, weighted density UVs. 
Unwrap Pro is a 3DS Max plugin which unwraps meshes while producing low distortion, overlap free, weighted density UVs, unlike the 3DS Max Peel command, which produces overlapping UVs with high area distortion. It is very fast, a 1 million triangle mesh was unwrapped in 23 seconds. It is easy to use, just select some UVs and hold down a button. Unwrap Pro will not add seams or pack UVs for you. Here are some of the benefits you get, save time and energy while unwrapping meshes by not having to worry about distorted or overlapping UVs. Use vertex colors or soft selections to increase the pixel density of important features. You don't have to manually edit or pin UVs to produce great results. Fast high quality UVs at a button press. Situations in which you would want to use Unwrap Pro, when you want to have equal pixel density for your textures. When you don't want to manually edit UVs. When you want to have more or less pixel density in some areas. When you want fast and quality UVs. When you don't want to manually untangle UVs. You can get Unwrap Pro, on this link. https colon slash slash
Finished. Awesome. Unwrapping almost done. Now select all boxes, right click, drop down on window. Convert to, and click convert to editable poly. With all boxes selected on modifier list select again unwrap pro. Wait and second. Click on open UV editor. Scale editor window to see better. On keyboard press Ctrl key. Plus. A key to select all faces. On drop down window almost in the corner click on. Pack custom. Great, it is all okay, how it must to be. Now again right click, drop down on window. Convert to, and click convert to editable poly. Before to export it for Substance Painter. Up on menu bar, click on Material Editor button, and apply one material to all boxes. Now with all boxes selected. Up right in the corner click on 3D Max icon, on opened window drop down export, and export selected. Export as FBX file format. On name right. Wood chair, and click save. On opened window click embed media and check box embed media. Done. Click OK. Now open Substance Painter. Click on File. New. Let's change normal map format, from OpenGL to DirectX. At template will let Unity 5. On mesh click select button, and select, wood chair, and click OK button. On Layers window click New Folder button. On the New Folder right click and add blank mask. On the menu bar click on the fifth icon button. Now drop down on the list click on Materials, and chose one wood material. Drag and drop on the blank mask what just created before. Select all the faces you want to apply this material.
Repeat the process. Click Make New Folder. Click Add Blank Mask. Select one material, drag and drop on the new blank mask. Select all the remain faces to apply this material. Great job! We almost finish it! After done with materials click on file, and drop down click to export textures. Can we chose many options but, on the config, we will let Unity 5. Now we chose the destination folder for textures. After done, click to export button, to export textures. Now we go back to 3D Max Studio. On menu bar click on material editor button, on the editor window drop down click on maps. Now put each texture into the appropriate slot. After done it click to apply material to boxes. On Maps window section, change bump value from 30 to 50, can have any value depending on your preference.
Now scroll up and set specular level to 100 and glossiness to 50. Great! Awesome! Wood chair! Made just only from couple simple boxes. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial hit like button. And subscribe to our channel. And hit bell icon. More tutorials will coming soon. Have nice awesome great day all of you.